all right ladies and gentlemen i was really contemplating on making this video until jinxie himself has started up a stream talking about his recent breakup oh no some internet personalities had broken up with each other and for some reason people seem to give a f but now looking at the situation and i mean just gathering all this information here i mean it's like jinxie is like a young man he's actually the same age as me which is crazy but for some reason i think i'm just you know smarter and uh, more wise than him but i'll just summarize it like this so jinxie really had his first relationship and it was with the only fans thought by the name of brecky hill and uh even before that before she even met him i mean she was riding other streamers and like you know she was even trying to get at neon when a uh, neon was up that of course never happened and then this guy named clicks had even signed her tits like put his name on her tits and everything in the past and then it's like once jinxie found that out he got really mad about it and upset and was really butthurt over it and like he didn't even have to say that this was his first relationship but i can just tell the way that he was acting this is how guys act whenever they get into like their first relationship it's like the stupid puppy love you know they're all over their girlfriends or whatever i mean I follow him on Snapchat and like, you know, he's just posting Snapchats all the time just like about her and I'm like, bro, he's clearly just a young man and like is he's going through the phases. This is like the high school bullshit like everybody goes through this is what you have to go through this is just a rite of passage for him and every young man can even take notes from this and i'll totally point out all of the red flags as i go through this entire video here millions of people and like obviously millions of people are going to have like their opinions and judgments on people that they've never like met or spoken okay to. well that's your fault because you decided to make your relationship public and put it out on the internet so yes millions of people are going to have an opinion on people uh, who they have never met before but it's your fault for putting it out there in, on the internet in the first place so that's red flag number one on how this relationship was never going to work out in the first place stop making it too public you should keep like your family stuff private like it's okay to go out like in the public and say oh hey yeah this is my wife but talking about your relationship and constantly posting her on the internet of course people are going to talk about it and the relationship is going to go f sour because everybody's all up in your business okay let's we were literally together like we were just streaming like we didn't have any like intention of like dating each other like obviously i thought she was like you know beautiful but like i didn't there wasn't like a you know i also thought like there was no chance in hell that she would ever want to like talk to me or speak to me <sighs> So red flag number two, Jinxie didn't have the confidence in himself to even speak to this bitch. He thought that she was higher than him, that she was above him. Here's what you have to sit here and think about. They're a human being just like you. She shits and pisses just like you. If like she doesn't shower for a couple days, she's gonna smell terrible. You know what I mean? I mean, she's like a human being just like you. We kind of started like talking to each other like off camera and off stream and like got to know each other and like really um, had like a good chemistry and a good bond and like you know, like she makes me laugh, I make her laugh, and like it's, uh, we have like a really good bond and chemistry with like everything. So it was like a really beautiful thing uh, off camera, like just the vibe and the connection we got because like as you guys- okay, Yeah, so he completely skipped over her red flags. The fact that she has millions of followers on Instagram, that's just a gigantic red flag. And like she uses her body and sexuality to make money. So automatically you should have just smashed and dashed. It's just like an automatic. Obviously you should never take that type of chick seriously ever in your life. And that's what his mistake is. And you know what? I can't make fun of him because he has to learn this lesson. The first reason why we broke up was because I literally told her, like I told her on the phone, like, I said, I don't care as much as you care. And um, that like broke her heart because she cares about me. She was just using you because you know, you know, like her OnlyFans bag was really going up when like she's with him. So I'm pretty sure she was just looking for any type of excuse to leave the relationship or something because it was sort of awkward just watching those Snapchats, but okay. And the first thing I want to say is like, um, cause cheating is like a, cheating is a very, like wide thing like cheating is a lot of different things i never uh like slept with another girl i never kissed another girl um like no i never did that i never kissed another girl um but like so basically i told her like that um i don't care as much as she cares and then like that fucked up her like head a lot so i think cheating and disloyalty would be watching you know videos that you shouldn't watch like while you're in a relationship and i think you guys know the type of videos i'm talking about i'm on like twitch so i'm trying to not like say but like i watched um you know like those videos uh, 
fuck it, uh, core while I was in a relationship uh, multiple times. I also told her that, like, literally, while that was happening, I said, like, I think if you watch those videos, that's cheating. And um, I was, like, doing that. And that, like, so, like, that was, like, for months of the relationship. And then when she eventually found out, it was, like, there was just a hole in the relationship. And uh, Oh, okay. So the uh, problem isn't watching porn. The problem was is that he, like he set the boundary with her that watching corn while they're in like a relationship together is considered cheating. And then he broke that boundary himself. She didn't. He did. She probably lost trust in him. That is like a big deal in like a relationship. You know, if like you're the man, right? If you set the boundary and you and like you break that boundary yourself, she has every right to not trust you anymore. That is a on Jinxie's part now do I believe that watching corn is cheating no that that's not cheating but is it bad just in general like I think watching corn in general is just bad for you a lot of dudes are gooners and everything and it's like they hide it I feel like most dudes are just low-key addicted to it at, at this point so I mean you just have to be upfront and honest with them it's like I like like things were never like really perfect uh, after that yeah yep and uh, she yeah she lost trust with you I know that there's been a lot of like breakups and stuff and like people um think that we like farm it or whatever but like we really don't like, we generally oh yeah uh by the way having like the multiple breakups and everything she definitely got dicked down by another dude and then got back to, together with you I, i'm just saying i don't know for sure of course because i don't know who she truly well no i do know who she is she sells feet pics to men online you know what as like a matter of fact another like i think about it she's kind of a hypocrite she can't truly be that mad at him because she sells porn herself she sells corn herself to other men who are probably in relationships it's kind of just hypocritical now. The thing that hurt her feelings a lot, which makes sense, is like everybody always says that she was like cheating on me and she was like taking advantage of me or using me or cheating on me. And um, she doesn't, like I can tell you, like she doesn't care about that shit. I know. We're just gonna go ahead and just end it there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Any chick that sells nudes on the internet, you just shouldn't trust them. You just shouldn't trust them whatsoever. Or, you know, trust them in like a relationship wise. I mean, you could smash them, of course, but no doubt about it. Like, Brecky Hill, she is a very attractive young lady, but if this was like a time before the internet, she would be a hooker. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Like, she would be a stripper. That's what, like, these OnlyFans girls are, is that, you know, they would be strippers and hookers, you know what I mean? In, like, a past life. But this is, like, the modern day. This is, like, the 2024 version of that. OnlyFans models. So, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say here. If you can take anything that I said here seriously and somehow apply it to your real life, can you please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos from me? I think young men should just be taking notes of Jinxie. They can learn something from this about women and, you know, girls in general, but whatever the bro anyways ladies and gents if you enjoyed today's video if you, i already said all that what am i talking about i'm just talking at this point aren't i i should i, I should turn off the camera right now 